play the double, leaves the cue ball where the red is, but they have he's going to play that. Now. And lots of pressure on what? the shot. Needs to get his arm going a little bit. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Seven. That was his first successful long pot. One out of six. Pink will go into that right corner. Thirteen. Twenty. Five one, and you wouldn't fancy him the way that Lee Hang is playing. Twenty eight. Sullivan regarded by most as the game's greatest ever front runner, proving in more recent times that he can win from behind too. Thirty five. And what a great red it was to get in with. Thirty six. This frame's over and he's pulled 43. the frame back. He was within a whisker. Going five one. If he goes he's gone into the reds and finished up on nothing. Had to play a safety. 51. It's down to the up to including the blue. 57. 59. 62. Well, he needed to produce something, and he has. 66. He was unlucky. He could easily have been on a straightforward red and going into the bunch, and that would probably have signalled a 5 1 scoreline. 71. 4 2, and this match has a rather different look. O'Sullivan's still got a lot of work to do. 77. 84 on the frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan. So that was a great chance for him there. One. So I'm Sullivan with his chance now, but maybe a chance to get right back in the game. Nine. Pressure just doesn't seem to affect him. Seventeen. Another very good recovery shot. But just over 19 minutes. This is now the longest frame of the semi-final. I felt he played the wrong shot when he played the cannon. Another day. He'd have been nicely on the red after getting the cannon. 41. Uh, needs to be able to get to that red by the pink and that looks to be okay. 49. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He's got a great chance now. Like being a frame winner for O'Sullivan. He only needs the shallow. Sixty-two. Yeah, what a break this has been. Really? Tough blacks he had to play. 65. Oh, he's got a right kick there, but the green has still gone in. 69. Well, there doesn't seem to be too much wrong in tip number four based on this break. An absolutely crucial one at a pivotal moment in the semi-final. 
Lee Hang was in, left himself hampered on the awkward red. But what a break from O'Sullivan to get himself right back 18. in the match. And the final red in particular. Special. This match is right back in the balance now. A great clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan of 87. Seven. One. Don't think he played the double there. Uh, red round the angles, I think it was, but he finished up potting it. Eight. Wow, he's powered that one in. Now, can he get to the yellow from the green? Yes, he can. 11. He wasn't sure. Breeze again. Uh, 13. That was wide. 16. On parity in this match from 20. 4 1 down. Blue and pink needed. Yeah, just checking. 25. 31. Thirty-eight in the frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Eighteen. Good recovery. But again, not on a colour. That was just in case. So easy snooker. Foul. And miss. Lee Hang at 18, Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. Oh dear. Oh dear. From there. I don't get why you have to be so close because the snooker is a snooker. Well, that's the worst thing he could have done. Bring the black into play. Again, you would fancy Ronnie O'Sullivan to win the frame here. Terms are beginning to tell. Nine. Fifty. He didn't look. Tell me when it's over. Probably also thinking, what did I just do? Frustrated, of course, in failing to lay the snooker. 23. I can understand his frustration because he's been into the pack two or three times. O'Sullivan is vastly experienced in that regard. 31. Playing. So there's a huge golf. Pink. 38. Looks like fourth time lucky, doesn't it? 46. 54. 36 the difference. So this black and one more red. For his fourth straight frame. What a turn. 62. Three snookers as things stand. That certainly sets the seal on this frame. 67. Yeah, he didn't want Lee coming back to the table here and messing about for snookers and giving himself a chance to settle down. It's just what he's done. 73. The world's best ever front runner. Once again, showing he's more than capable of coming from behind. There's no doubt where this frame was won and lost. 78. No, it was Lee's frustration, wasn't it, when he was snookered? Foul. 
didn't quite get there. And this is what he thought of it, opening the black. 82. So enough for his second century of the afternoon to go with the 280 breaks he made in frame six and 93. seven. Ronnie O'Sullivan hitting the front for the first time to put himself within a frame of the final. 93 in the frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan. His long potting hasn't been good up to press. What? Just two out of nine. Like that three out of ten. Just when he needed it most. It's not necessarily how many you get, is it? It's when you get them. Seven. Lee Hang, when he was leading 4-1. And he went into the pack of reds. He didn't finish on one. It could have been 5-1 had he finished on one. And it was a great long red to get in, having been largely frozen out. Got to go into them with a little bit of screw, get the cue ball away from the reds. Off the left side of the table. Oh, oh, my, oh, my. What a touch. That was very close to not reaching. Foul. Manuel Sullivan, four. Well, will it go back? Will it go back? One. Just got a little bit frustrated with the bad run in his head, Lee Hang. Seven. Twelve. Thirteen. Played. Lots of right hand side on the cue ball to find that gap. Would have been okay if it had got the cannon as well. Twenty-eight. Well you're right, Lee Hang has got a lot to be proud 29. of in this tournament, knocking out the world number one Judd Trump, who was beginning to look unbeatable in the home nations and giving O'Sullivan a serious run for his money. He outplayed the world champion had he gone 5-1 up, as he easily could have done with a better split, might now have been contemplating victory. But you've got to hand it to O'Sullivan. He's done it again. He's come through from a very unpromising 4-1 down with a five-frame blitz. And Lee Hang, of course, will be disappointed. He couldn't convert that three-frame advantage he had. 44. A refreshing brand of snooker to give O'Sullivan all the trouble he could handle early on. But once again, the six times world champion has the last word. 53. But full credit to O'Sullivan. He stepped up when he needed to. Great match, as you said, Philip. Far away. It is a 55th ranking final appearance for Ronnie O'Sullivan and a first in the Scottish Open. He's one match away from his 38th ranking title. He's won an absolute cracker.